video of it. On. I'll be honest. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, you are going to be gobsmacked. We are now going to meet something amazing. And here we go with the amazing Snakey Sue. Snakey Sue, can you tell us what we're about to see? You're about to see Rose and Boo, two large albino Burmese pythons. Hold your breath, ladies and gentlemen, because who said that you're not scared? It's not that I'm scared, it's just your eyes are overwhelmed. I mean, how are you not scared? I mean, look at the size of him. <laughs> they're, girls. It, they're girls. They're girls. Rose and Boo. <laughs> they're girls, but they're massive. And they heard about us men, and they've heard how naughty we can be. Here we go. They're having a bath again. Look. Both of the baths. Like Both of them. They've been in these baths for about two weeks, you know. <laughs> wow, look at them. And they have a whole room to themselves. They've got a whole room. <laughs> These snakes have got a whole room to their snelf. Look at that. Wow. See, it's actually bigger than you. She's wondering, you know, making sure who it is coming in. So I give her the back of my hand, which if she were to bite or strike, yep. it's very difficult to get the back of your hand. And these are the sorts of things you learn. So how long you had to her for, this one? Um, these are now about six or seven. They, they were a friend of mine, he rescued, he had one uh, albino Burmese python and he rescued a female and he allowed them to wander about his flat <laughs> on the, and he was saying, oh Sue, they're doing this and they're doing that. I said, well, Mel, you know, they're, they're getting together, they're, she's going to have babies. <laughs> These are her babies, are they? So, I, so he needed, he didn't know what to do. She laid the eggs and he was, oh, I don't know what to do, blah, blah. So I tried to help him out. Yep. And uh, he said, you, when they were born, they hatched, when they hatched, he said, do you want a couple? Yep. And I was hoping they'd be males because males are a bit smaller. Yep. But they're not, the girls. So. The, girl, the girls are bigger. <laughs> but I don't overfeed them. Now, at this age, they could be, if you, if you fed them as much as they would eat, they could be about 15 foot. Wow. But I don't overfeed them. Now that they're adult, I only feed them. Uh, yeah, they must be about. They must be coming up for eight, and they're more or less adult when they're eight. And these are live to thirty or twenty. So they can live up to twenty. Yeah, twenty-five. So I I I only feed them once every two months. They're actually having a bath. Yeah, bath. And and are they, are they staying here for like hours? They stay in for days, weeks. Days. They just stay weeks. in the bath. They just water. Stay in the water. <laughs> so what, what, and then they get out and just climb they, around. Yeah, they do climb about. Like I'm, I'm, I wanted to go over the at the park and get some more fresh leaves, but I never, I never went. Out. It's a shame. In the autumn, I like to go over the park and get fresh leaves. Oh, gotcha. So my friend just asked, how long do these get to these ones? Well, they won't grow any big, much bigger now. Okay. They, once they're about eight years old, that's it. But you can, you can. What they do, what people do often is they power feed them. Okay. Because these will keep continue eating. If you if you bring a food in every week, they will eat it. Okay. You know, a rabbit or lots of rats or whatever, and they will just continue to eat and eat and eat until they get big. Yes. But really, the thing is that. Obese. It's not good for them. No. So the same as humans, they get diabetes and that sort of stuff. They're lying off. on their organs, aren't they? Gotcha. You know, we're standing up, but they're actually lying on their organs. So if good they're point. obese, it's not good, a point. good idea, really. So, and of course, I've got to handle them. Yeah. So even if, it was, if they were too big, I won't be able to... to Can you handle them, them even though they've been in here and that? Um, well, <laughs> I, don't, I think both their waters actually need changing. <laughs> no problem. Because <laughs> so, they've been laying in there for about two months. Uh, the two weeks, I mean. And... Um, I think, I think they both need changing these waters. They're a bit grubby. They're so calm and relaxed, aren't they? This is, I mean, I've, I've put my hand in there. So. Wow, this look at good. that. But normally what I do is I've got a big towel around there and I'll get that towel down. Yep. And I'll put it, lay it on the floor and yep. I'll lay her on the towel so that she dries. So she dries. Yeah. Look at her. She's gorgeous. Look at the colours. I mean, personally, I like the natural, natural colour of Burmese pythons. Yes. Because they're, they're a beautiful colour, really. But the thing is, you know, people like them. People like them. My friend here, Louise Sarah Jane, says, I've got a brum, a bum, a B U R M. A berm. She's got a berm. A berm. Do you know what a berm is? There's a berm. Burmese pythons. That's what these are. For short, people call them berms. Have you got any advice for Louise on her Burmese pythons? Well, she might know all about it. <laughs> you I obviously know all about it. I might not need to tell her anything. <laughs> you need to answer. tell me everything, both of you. Any questions? Yes. Do you um, have any questions for I'll Sue? Answer. Yeah. Do you have any questions for Sue? Because Sue is here right now. 
and she would take your questions because Sue knows a hell of a lot. And look, his head's out. <laughs> Checking on me. <laughs> is that, is that Look, bit... well, you've got all things on your face. Look at you. That's the trouble. I keep them in sort of natural environment, really, and and like you know, they're not perfectly clean all the time. No. no. <laughs> oh, Louise just texts. He's a big boy. I know enough. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if she's got one, then she must. No, what she's because saying. you've got one, you we're not arguing. You know exactly what you boy. know. Lovely. He's a big boy. You're doing all right. Yeah. Shine on. These are big boys too, but these are big girls. These are girls, aren't they? These are big girls. Yeah. And these are eight years old. Yeah. Wow. Look. At least one's underwater. Actually underwater. It's actually underwater. That is amazing. My boy eats quails and chicks. Oh, well, they do. It's, we've always said that um, the uh, quails and chicks, the birds, tend to give them a bit of diarrhea. Has he got loose poo? Right. Oh, she's, she'll answer you in a second. And what do you feed your ones, Sue? I feed, well, she'll eat rabbits. Okay. But she won't, she doesn't really like rabbits. She eats rats. That, that. Okay. If I put a rabbit near her, she goes, hmm. So they've got their own taste. She wants to taste of rats. But, she should eat rabbits though. Her head's actually underwater. I have two dwarf brothers too, and girls are generally bigger than boys. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah that's right. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, Louise, you need to add Snakey Sue as a friend, because I think you two are very amazing. <laughs> and this is what life's about. It's about connecting, isn't it, Sue? Yeah. I mean, they're wonderful creatures to keep because they're so different to us, you know, being reptiles. Yes. But understanding them is so... I think it's just so important to be able to understand a creature that is completely different from you. That's what I've been saying to my girlfriends for years. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to understand me, you know? I've got rights. I am understandable. Too much coffee with too much sugar in, that's what he does. Too much coffee, too much sugar. Don't give it to me. Do not offer me coffee and sugar. Don't ever do it. We love you, Sue. Thank you for what you showed us today. You're very welcome. And as, as this, is this going to be the last video we make today? Yeah, that's the last one. So can we just uh, finalise this video? Sue, um, if, can, can anyone contact you if they want to hire you or anything? Yeah, they can contact, anybody can contact me. And, yep. And just with my number is 0771 504 That's my mobile. I just want to say on film, thank you for inviting me to your home. Yeah, and if you ever get an event where I can come and film it, please let me know. Yes, I will. And I feel like you're a forever friend. Sue, I love you. Mm. Love you too. And you have just met Sue and you are very lucky. Thank you, Sue. We love you. Shine, Shine on, on to on. Sue. Shine <laughs> on. Mwah. My boy is eight foot and he's three. Ask her if that's right, please. Oh, hang on. Louise has just said, my boy is eight foot and he's three. Ask her if that is right, please. Well, you've probably fed him more than, say, I've fed, fed mine. Because I, I tend not to overfeed them because, I, I, you know, I'm a small person and I have to lift them up and take them about. So I didn't want them to get too big. And they can become obese. If he's slim, that's fine anyway. But if he's a bit fat in the middle he could be obese so hopefully it's not you know but they do they do they tend to get longer but they can still be slim and gotcha. long, you know but if he's eating quails and uh, chicks that's yes that's quite small food right really, for a big boy so they must be eating a lot of it yeah i would i would personally give him rats there's more there's more bone structure in a rat okay um because birds have hollow bones so the uh, that has more calcium in the bones, okay. which is a necessary thing as well, calcium. So I hope that helps you, Louise, and I hope this helps everybody. And thank you, Sue. You have definitely helped me. And shine on everybody. Can we please give peace and love to all creations, even snakes? Because we don't have any problems. We only have solutions. Well done. Mwah. Shine <laughs> on to all of you. Goodbye.